that on? We made this documentary it's together. On. Um, so how many of you have seen uh, some of the episodes on the website? Yeah. Everybody. Oh, okay. Well, most of you. okay, good, good. Well, you're in for a treat. Because if you like those, you should like this. Um, two of the episodes from the website are in this documentary. But everything else is new. So pretty much these, this, these are all new except for those two. And the other really, really special thing about this screening is that you guys are the first ones to see this film. A handful of people have seen it, but uh, you know this is pretty cool. I want to give you a real quick um, introduction of how this project got started. Um, I've known Graham for over 20 years. And uh, about two years ago, uh, we were getting, we hadn't seen, seen each other for many years and we were catching up. Uh, we were having dinners together and we were watching uh, movies and DVDs at each other's apartments. Uh, we lived really close to each other, just a couple blocks away. And um, Graham had recently retired from the San Francisco Medical Examiner's Office where he had worked for 23 years. Prior to that, <laughs> Vancouver, the coroner's office there. Uh, and, and I know that there are a bunch of his co-workers are in the audience as well, so if he says something stupid, you can, you can call him on it after the screening. Um, so anyway, we were hanging out, and as a filmmaker, some of my thoughts at the time were, uh, I, had, I was noticing that I was spending almost zero time actually making film. Um, you know, I just, you know, I was sitting at home thinking about making films a lot and having grandiose ideas about you know, remaking Spartacus or something like that. <laughs> but for the most part, I wasn't making film. And that was starting to bother me. And I felt like it was sort of like saying, well, I'm a piano player, but I don't play piano. Um, or, and I don't even practice. So uh, one day at dinner, I asked Graham, oh, I said to Graham, I need to practice. Would you mind if I went out and got a video camera and we went out somewhere and I filmed you telling a story or two? And that's how we got started. Uh, it was just to practice. Mm -hmm. So he was doing me a favor. Mm -hmm. uh, the first day that we went out shooting, we went to this apartment building on Knob Hill. And it was the apartment building where Steve McQueen lived in the movie Bullet. And, uh, or where his character lives in the movie Bullet with uh, Jacqueline Bissett because Graham wanted to talk about the movies. And the truth is, he would rather talk about the movies than anything else. <laughs> so um, to make a long story short, uh, we ended up shooting for almost a year. Thanks, Adam. What can I say? You know, you're a lucky fella. You know, really, <laughs> really supportive. Thanks, Mrs. Chin. And you're very lucky. Uh, such a sweet boy here. Yeah. Uh, I know. Okay. Um, some Facebook friends here and all that business. The work friends, there's too many of them. I love you all. You know who you are. And uh, I'm always comfortable around you. Um, my old mate, Bill Tolliver's family's here, that's really cool. Um, my old mate, uh, Nick Epstein, his wife's here, that's really cool. Um, Joyce Henderson, the old director, she's here, that's great. Um, Bobby Donovan, he showed me how to live again. He's here, wherever he's at. And uh, anyway, um, family, I don't have any family here, but uh, I have, you do. I love her. Yeah. Yeah. She was like a sister to me. I got Suzanne, everything to me. And, uh, and I got this fella here with the bald head. Uh, we go back 38 years to Vancouver days, we all do. I got that fella right there, Dr. Whitland's here. He got me started. Just wanted to say that real fast. Thanks for all for coming. Um, and again, to the guys and everybody at the medical examiner's office, 
um, it's it's just as it is. Um, I'll say no more. Enjoy the film. Yeah, we'll be back after.